Some while ago I created the prisoner skin from Fortnite stage 1 and while creating I already had the last stage the fire king in mind so I made the head replaceable. When the prisoner skin came out, I decided to create this one, the one with all the lockers and the crystals on the body, because I thought this guy is the most unique one from all the four of them. And then I heard about this story, that he is, well, the prisoner, as the name is already giving away, and that he is um, developing into the Fire King. And this made me think again, and then I read all the comments and uh, well, it was sure that I had to, to change this guy again, because also you asked for it. And here we go! Let's change this guy, this prisoner skin, and let's make an upgrade from stage 1 to stage 4. So we are just skipping the ridiculous steps 2 and 3, because I didn't even like them visually. It was a bit tricky because now you can see the arms uh, very thin and we will fix that by adding um, some further layers of clay. I really hope that I still have some uh, old clay from this project I made two or three weeks ago. But well, let's focus on all the re removing first. Uh, maybe we can use the chains as well. Yeah. I really try to use as many things as possible from this character and we will place it right on the torso, removing all the old clay pieces. Yeah, this is um, all the stuff uh, I put into this foil and I'm really happy <laughs> that I kept it. It's a bit difficult, but somehow we are managing to get this blue and it has the same structure because it is from the same tutorial where I created the stage one. And now we can make the arms a little bit thicker and also the other arm as well. Uh, it looks very skinny. <laughs> we have to make this guy a little bit fat. And sometimes it is quite confusing working with clay because uh, before oven hardening, some of the colors are uh, tend to be a little bit too bright, and after oven hardening, they are uh, they are getting a little bit darker. Now I try to get some texture into the arms. This is also on the plus side when we um, put an extra layer of fresh clay on top of the oven hardened clay. We can make and draw all this pattern inside where we will add the bright red and orange um, fire and lava color. Yeah, uh, <laughs> apropos lava. I know and I heard the rumors that um, a volcano is coming and I think it has the new season, season 8. I haven't played it till now, I haven't read any news about it. I know that um, there probably will be a volcano, but this is just a rumor for now. And I think um, Epic will continue the story of the prisoner, aka the Fire King. He has a wound on his left shoulder. Uh, I think I will make this again. And this is the head for our Fire King size comparison. So this is the head, this will be the head and um, you know that I'm not really good at creating faces. I tell this every tutorial where I have to create somehow a human face but luckily this is not really human. It's the Fire King and no offense but he looks a little bit ugly also in the original version, so I could jump into the creation. I was not worried that I would screw on this guy. Well, the cheeks turned out really great. Now the eye, the iris, which is just yellow clay, we put inside. 
Oh boy, I'm really curious to read all the news and to play Fortnite Season 8. Now that I published um, the Apex video, A Apex Legends, last week, some of you were really afraid that I would stop creating Fortnite. I don't think so. Of course, I will also continue other stuff, but Fortnite is still such um, a huge creative inspiration for me and for um, a lot of other, other guys in the community. So don't worry, we won't stop with Fortnite. There's so much stuff still about coming to my channel. Now we can go into the oven. Freshly baked Fire King. Oh, that was close. <laughs> he was about to fall over. Um, yeah, you see this um, skirt he's wearing. You can see the glimming effect from the fire because it burned away all the, the lower parts. And um, we try to accomplish that by using some really bright colors, acrylic colors. But I forgot to remove the black chains and the lockers. So we will do that right now with a scalpel. Yeah, I'm really happy to have my scalpel. <laughs> and now some um, pens. This is... Uh, Polish, polish pens, I guess. This is gray. And we try to get in some more shadows and make it even more dirty and used. Because the skin evolves and changes from stage one where it looks um, too clean to stage four where he really looks dirty and wrecked. Yeah, now we take the the black one as well and this is not for the shadow effects this is more for um, the parts where the fire burned his skirt oh this works great and you can just use your finger yeah it's it looks like that but you you really get a really good feeling for your creation also when you draw on paper I am painting um, the first layer, which is white. Why am I doing this? It looks a little bit like um, ice or snow. I'm doing this because uh, when you start with white as the base layer, all the other colors which are coming on top will be brighter and shinier. And this guy really looks shiny because the fire lives inside. You, you get me, you know what I mean. Also, the bold head. <laughs> this is, um, it's for marking um, text. Maybe you can write it in the comments what they are called in, in English. I'm not familiar with this word. A text marker, probably, yeah. Let's go with text marker. And they really bring this um, artificial glowing bright shiny effect in the creation and after that we will add some acrylic paint which really looks amazing when it is still wet but when it gets dry it will lose some of its um, luminosity yeah I looked that word up <laughs> it already looks amazing also the wound oh look at that and also the other arm as well of course, I could have also removed the hands and recreated them with red clay, but I thought it would uh, look even better to just paint the hands. But maybe we should take um, a little darker red. But let's focus on the legs first. Oh, this looks so sick. I love this skin already. <laughs> Yellow, maybe? Oh, this was too much, but um, yeah, let's remove this as well. Yeah, this is the darker red. We can throw in also on the hand. Yeah, before this tutorial is over, I should mention, and um, this is video one 
for this week. This means there is another one <laughs> tomorrow. I have created, already prepared, um, a map location from season 7. The one which you requested the most. So um, I will create it and show it to you tomorrow while working on the flame. Oh, that was close. While working on the flame effect. Um, and then I will, um, I will wait for all the news and playing Fortnite season 8 till tomorrow. So let's find out together if the map location which I'm about to create has changed. <laughs> This happened uh, the last time with Loot Lake and you know that I had to, to do all the updates again after this video. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should add some acrylic paint to the wool. Yeah, oh, this is a really nice um, fire effect. Putting in some, some sprinkles, just a little bit of yellow some more orange right on the head and yeah what about the mouth maybe some lipstick for this tough guy because he isn't that tough at all <laughs> yeah these are some uh, tiny tiny pieces for these fins thorns whatever this is on the back side of his legs I am just creating it and guys that's it the fire king stage four this was my upgrade of the prisoner skin now with stage four please let me know you have already seen some of the new skins from season eight which skin I should create I haven't seen them till now so i'm really curious to read your comments down below i guess that's it for today see you tomorrow with another video bye